Hey guys, it's Julia here, and I'm back with another Looking Back video. Now, this one might go up a little bit late because I actually I'm recording on the day it's supposed to go up. I've been sick and not feeling too well, but I thought I'd make an easy Looking Back video, which will be on this computer right here, which this is a Dell Dimension B110. It has a Celeron D sticker and a Windows XP sticker. So, I made a computer adventure on this, like, back in 2018, I believe. I will leave links to those in case you do want to watch them after this video or before, whatever you want to do. But they are kind of long, because, you know, they're split into several parts, like three or four parts. I can't even remember. I think it was four on this computer. It was a lot, but if you want to watch those, you can. But basically, I'm, I haven't booted it, I don't think, since those videos. It's just been sitting in my office not doing anything. And so, for this looking back, we're just going to look back at it, see what's on it, and stuff like that. Now, this video will be a little different. I'm going to be using a capture card this time. So, you guys won't have to see, like, the shaky camera and all that. You guys will just be seeing the computer with the capture card. Because I have it plugged into my computer right now. So... We basically we'll be able to see what's on here and I can boot it up live. You'll probably see a black screen at first until the computer actually boots, but we're just going to basically look back at it, see what's on it, see what I did with it and stuff like that, you know, kind of just looking back at the computer. I don't know if I'm actually going to do anything with it because uh, to be honest, I really don't know what I want to do with this computer. It's really old also. I really don't want to reset it again because I've already reset it back in 2018 and also I want to get this video out I'm not feeling too well so we're just going to look back at this computer I'm also going to talk about the history of it while it's booting and stuff but you know I'm just going to start recording on the capture card now so you guys are going to be seeing that all right guys so you guys aren't seeing anything because I haven't booted it yet so I'm going to go ahead and boot it just so we can get an output all right guys, so I'm back. I got it working. I also had to go do something, so it's been a bit of time. It's just been sitting here. It says the time and date's not set. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna put F1 because, you know, I don't need to worry about the time right now. It's not that important. Okay, so it's loading into XP. Now, I've not seen this computer in a while, so I, I don't even know what to expect, honestly. It's been years since I've seen it. Well, actually, like, four years, which is actually a really long time ago. It doesn't feel like it's been four years, but it has. Like, time really flew by. Well, that looks different. I don't know if you guys will hear sound, because I don't know if it makes sound. Well, the sound was down for the capture card, but I don't think that matters. Also, wow, it really is blurry in my recording. Like, that is really blurry for some reason. I don't know why. I might have to, like, adjust some settings. And my mouse is not working on the system. So, I think we have to wait for that to install. But, basically, the history of this computer was that it was a computer that was given to me by someone at my old youth group because they had an old computer sitting around that wasn't being used anymore and they gave it to me so basically I just had this computer and it had I believe it didn't have the OEM install on it I believe when I got it I had to actually fix the recovery partition and then once I fixed it with some program I was able to actually restore it in the computer adventure and then I was able to use it. And there's some programs installed on here, which I'm not sure like how well they work. I know there's some things on here, so that's actually pretty cool. I see we got some games like Osu and even Minecraft on here. I don't even know if they even run. I don't remember if I tried them or not, but the mouse is not working like at all. Like I'm trying to move the mouse, but it's just not working for some reason. I, I don't know why. So I'm going to try and plug it back in, so hold on. So it's finding stuff now, but I'm like still not able to move the mouse and the keyboard isn't working either. I guess with XP it has to like install drivers and stuff. I see there's updates, but I can't click on that because it's like not letting me- oh there it goes. What, what are these updates? 
It still gets updates. Let's fix this screen resolution. I have a feeling that I'm wrong here because it's all blurry and pixelated. I don't know if it looks like that for you guys, but to me, I like, I can't really see it. It's all like, well, that's appearance. Where's like, I forget where things are in XP. It's been a while since I've really messed with XP. Here we go. No wonder. It's on 1024 by 768. Let's just put something random. Also, these updates are not going to download because the time and date is wrong and it thinks it's the year it looks like 2000. I, I can't really see it because it's like cut off. Um, ugh, that name is so cringy. I don't know why I put that name back then. That's just such cringe. Well, if you can see it, which I don't know if you're going to be able to see this very well, but it's running XP Home. I think it's SP3 because I know I updated it. And, you know, it's a Celeron. What, does that say 1.20 gigs of RAM? I, 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 it's hard to see. I think it does. I just wish that this was more clear. Like, I didn't expect it to be like this. You know, I'll be right back. I'm going to see if I can fix it. I can't tell if this is any better, but it looks a little bit better. I don't know, maybe because I changed the sizing a bit. It's still blurry, but you can kind of see it. That's probably the best I'm going to get it. Yeah, it does look a lot more clear. We can actually read it. Yeah, it's Service Pack 3. Del I say it's a Dell Dimension DE051 because on the front it says it's a Dell Dimension B110. So I find that a bit weird that this is reporting differently. If anyone has any idea, let me know, because that's that's a bit strange that it's reporting as a different model inside of Windows. I, I don't understand why it's reporting as a different model. But if we look at the stuff on here, we got, yeah, the Windows accessories, Dell, some Dell stuff, media experience, um, driver reset tool, whatever that is. Dell support stuff. We got some XP games. Some Intel adapter. Um, modem, wow. Um, net waiting. Download driver, what in the world? Stuff on the startup there. Adobe Reader 6.0, that's old. Microsoft Plus photo story. Um, Outlook Express, Power DVD, Remote Assistance, Media Player, Movie Maker, so Realtek, Wireless LAN, 7-Zip, Firefox, Silverlight, BitLocker to Go Reader, Internet Explorer, XPS Viewer, the Administrative Tools, CCleaner, Minecraft, Open Office, Panda Dem. Panda Dome, I think this is. I, I can't really read that. Steam, Telegram, VLC, Winderstat, Opera, and Osu. Now, I don't know if the games work or not. This computer is kind of old, so I doubt it. Let's see the Firefox version. Um, this is connected to the internet, but because the time and date's wrong, it's probably not going to load anything. So, yeah, it's going really slow. Let's see, how do I go to like, I forget how to use this version of Firefox. Options, that's the options though. I wanna go to like, well, I mean, there's gotta be a way to like, yeah, the help thing about, that's how you get to it. Firefox ESR, this is probably the last version of Firefox ESR for XP 52.9.0. I'm not sure. It probably is though. So basically, this is just an old version of Firefox. Let's see if we can fix the time because this is like wrong. It thinks it's 2005. All right, so I got the time set. I couldn't record for a bit because there was people that walked in, so I had to wait till them till they left so I could record because I don't want background noise. It's kind of why I don't record during the day, but I kind of have no choice today since I need to get a video up, so I'm very behind. 
I just wasn't feeling good the past few days. I'm feeling a bit better now though. So I don't know why Opera is the default browser because I'm not the biggest fan of Opera, but maybe at the time it was supported on XP. I really don't remember. Um, what is it loading? Oh yeah, it's system unsupported. Your Firefox is out of date and it's not reported on your system, please. Please upgrade your system and try again. <laughs> you'll you'll all see this notice again, but you can't. But you can learn more. And it's trying to load Reddit for some reason, which is kind of weird because I don't remember going on Reddit on here. I don't know why it's trying to load Reddit, but that's actually kind of funny. Let's see if it loads. So I'm going to. Oh, I see where it's saving downloads to some folder called software. I don't think that exists though. I didn't see a folder called software. Wow, this actually loads for some reason. That's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna close it. So, anyway, what else there? So, you can see all the stuff on here. I could try Minecraft, but I, I don't even know if this is like the official launcher or what, I guess we're gonna find out. I don't remember installing this. Oh, it is downloading the launcher, no way. I thought it wasn't supported on XP. Yeah, no. Unable to update. Yeah, it, it doesn't work. That's wonderful. So, there is a folder of the software that I guess we installed on here. Um, and that computer adventure we in tried installing some software. I don't think all of it worked. I don't know why the media creation tool is in here. That's kind of funny because that's not going to run on XP. And I know for a fact you can't run Discord on XP. I don't know why that's in here. And some other things in here probably don't work. Even though Minecraft's in here, it doesn't even want to open. And CCleaner, I stopped using that a long time ago. I haven't used CCleaner in a really long time. Because I just don't really prefer it anymore. But we're going to close this. I'm going to be honest. This computer is really slow. This might be one of the computers I actually get rid of because I'm trying to, over the summer, get rid of really old computers that either don't work or are just too slow that they're not even worth using at all. And this is one of those computers where it's just so slow that it's like not worth using. What is this? I don't know. Downloads, nothing in there. Music just sample stuff, pictures, well, the, the XP image I had set as the wallpaper. I like the theme though, because this is one of my favorite Windows XP themes of all time. Seems like the computer actually sped up a bit. I think it's the embedded theme, because if I click embedded, yeah, it, it's the embedded theme, except with this I you know, change the background and stuff. And it looks like I might've made the fonts bolder or something, cause like the title bar, unless that's normally how it looks, but it lo seemed to look different before. But it's just all the like default XP wallpapers, plus some more like the Zoom one. I probably installed some themes on here, like Royal, um, there's another royal theme, Zoom. Yeah, I, I installed some themes, except it's not showing the background, but I saw the background in there. But I basically installed some themes on this computer the last time I used it. Ugh, ew, TeamViewer. I don't, I haven't used that software in stinking years because I just don't prefer it anymore. Well, guys, again, the history of this computer, as I said, I got it in 2018, it was given to me. I made computer adventures on it of resetting it, installing software on it, and things like that. So honestly, you'd probably get more information on this computer. I didn't do anything, that was weird. You'll probably get more information by watching those videos because I talked about the computer more and I knew more about it at the time because I had just gotten it. And it's been four years and I forget things a lot. 
So this video, I'm not really doing anything special with the computer because one, I don't know what to do. Two, I'm not feeling too well. So if you want to go and watch those videos either again or if you've never seen them before, I'll link all the parts in the description of this video. I'll, I might also link the Computer Adventures playlist because there's other ones you can watch in there as well and I think they do go, go in order. Actually, before we end the video, let me shut down the computer because why not, you know? But that was pretty much the history of this computer showing what's on it. I'm not going to open every single software in this video, I just kind of wanted to show it. Oh, this background looks pretty cool, actually. But if you want me to do more videos with the capture card, let me know. It might be easier to show things. I'm sorry it was blurry at first. Uh, there's not much I could do about that. I, I don't know why it was. I kind of fixed it, though, by changing the resolution and got it to work. I guess it was just, it took some time. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll have another video on Friday, one I already recorded a few weeks ago that I just need to edit of one of the new ThinkPads I got. Oh wow, it just shut off, nice. But I'll upload that one later this week of one of the new ThinkPads I got. I also have another video planned that isn't a looking back video that's gonna go up on Wednesday if I can because I do want to start posting other videos as well and I do have some ideas so you guys will also be seeing another video on this channel that isn't a looking back in between those videos. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.